Moda and you're watching Make Me Over on Awesomeness TV, the show where you can be surprised with a makeover of a lifetime. So today we're in Venice Beach at a store called Skylark and we're going to be making over Courtney who says she's very insecure about her appearance, especially her hair and her skin. So let's check out her submission video. Hey everybody, my name is Courtney, I'm 15 and I have an insecurity about my face because I do have acne and my hair, how it's not like everybody else. Everybody else at my school has clear face and long hair and that makes me so insecure and I just really don't fit in. So if you guys could help me and make me over, that would be awesome. Okay, thank you. So we are in front of Skylark right now with Courtney. Hi. So how are you feeling right now? I'm excited. What are you most excited about? Going to school tomorrow and being a new person. All right, you ready to get started? I'm so ready. Let's, Let's go. Let's do this. Go. Okay, Courtney, so why don't you tell me a little bit about your personal style? Well, I usually wear jeans and a plain top, nothing really spectacular. And is there anything that you want to like dress more like, or do you have like a set style inspiration? Well, I like the hipster style, it's really nice. All right, well, I think we have a few tips for you. Yes, I have the perfect pair of leggings. So I chose these leggings because they're not just like regular black leggings. These are actually a little bit thicker, and I really like the pattern on these. They're black with a little bit of like gray detailing. And Bethany, do you know what you want to pair this with? Okay, so my main rule for wearing leggings is to wear a top that is long enough to be a dress so you're not actually wearing your leggings as pants. So I think that this sweater is perfect because you can see it like hits above your knees. Mm -hmm. And I just think that these two items, it's very comfortable, perfect for the fall time. And basically that's my biggest tip for leggings is you can wear like a cool t-shirt yeah. that's just very long, maybe like an oversized sweater, anything like that is perfect. Yeah, and I really like these two combinations. I think this would be great to pair them together. Yeah, yeah they're super cute. cute. And how do you feel about combat boots? I love them. Okay, so I have this pair for you, and I think they totally finish off this outfit. I really like how they look so rustic and like worn yeah. in, and I just think that they're perfect, they're very comfortable, and they're like a staple piece that you can wear with so many different outfits. Yeah. So do you like it? I love them. All right, why don't you go try it on? Okay. All right, see ya. So Courtney's going for kind of an effortless, trendy feel, and I think all three of these outfits portray that very well. So the first one is kind of one of my favorites because it's so comfy and casual, yet still really cute. I really like the leggings with this outfit because she can wear it to school, but then she can also wear it when she's like going out with her friends or anything like that. And she could definitely pair these leggings with absolutely anything, any dresses, and I think this one really like made those leggings look perfect. Totally. So outfit number two is a little bit edgy with the skull on the front of the top, but I think it's also a little bit girly since there's like some floral thrown in there. Mm -hmm. So I really love that part of this outfit. Yeah, I really like how she could do a lot of layering with this like basic tee and just put like a jacket over it or pretty much anything. I really love the top in outfit number three because I think the denim mixed with the black sheer fabric just looks really nice. And if you wanted to give this outfit a little bit more edge, then you could add like a spiky necklace or maybe even some spiky earrings. Yeah, I like how we paired the black pants on with this because it really brought out the sheer on the shirt. All right guys, leave a comment below and let us know out of these three outfits, which one you like the best. So girly girl, I heard you were having a hard time with your hair. Why is that? I recently cut it really short and like all the girls at my school, they have it like long and it looks just really nice. Well, honey, you don't want to be like those other girls. You want to stand out. You don't need long hair. You want to stand out and be unique, right? Yeah. So have you ever thought about bangs? That sounds really nice, actually. You know what? I think that would be flippin' adorable. Super. We need some bangs. We need to rock that cut out. Mm -hmm. Make it more you. I had a mohawk in school. It was black and red. I swear <laughs> to you. I was probably terrifying, but you know what? It gave me the confidence and it made me feel good that I was different from everybody else. Yeah. And that's what you need. You need some you need some confidence. That's all you need. Yeah. You're already fabulous. Now tell me about your makeup routine. I don't wear makeup, and I know I shouldn't because I do have an acne problem. Mm -hmm. So I really don't. Well, one of the things we talk about on the show very often is BB cream. What it'll do is help slowly cure your acne, plus it'll remove the blemishes on your face too. And it's tinted, so it'll cover up any acne you have at the time. Yeah, the BB actually stands for blemish balm. So what it does is it just kind of calms down the irritation. You know, you can do other things to help with your acne, but at the same time, just kind of conceal things that you don't necessarily want people to see. That's mm -hmm. cool. It's all about confidence. Exactly. So are you ready to Let's see this? Start we can hardly wait. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. 
Let's do it. Here we go. Courtney today giving her a makeover. She said that she felt very insecure because of her hair and her skin and things like that. So we really just wanted to give her some confidence and show her how gorgeous she actually is. Great. So we gave her a brand new style, but it's still true to herself, which I think is great. And I cannot wait for you to see her. So are you ready? Yes. Okay, Courtney, come on out. Baby, you're all grown up. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> you ready to rock it now at school? You look so beautiful. You look grown up. Don't be grown up. <laughs> Don't cry. Okay. Now, you're gonna rock it at school. Confidence. Stop. Can we hug Stop. everybody? Yeah. Group hug. <laughs> You're beautiful. They did good, but all they did was bring out what you already had. You just okay. didn't you just didn't have the confidence in yourself. So now you rock it. I'm very proud of you. And the other girls got nothing on this. Not at all. <laughs> you got nothing on you. We're so glad that you like it. Very much so. And Courtney, I'm so glad that you like it. You're Thank such you. a beautiful girl. And you were beautiful when we first met you. And we just brought out a different side of you. And I just want you to know how gorgeous you are. It means a lot to me. You're her <laughs> idol. <laughs> she's, always, she's always looking. Okay, what is Bethany doing today? What is the new style? What is it? Oh she she looks up to you. You're a mentor to her. Thank you so much. Well, with your confidence, girls are going to be looking up to you. I just want to thank my glam squad for helping me out today. Roxy, Taylor, and Taja, thank you guys. All right, guys, do you know someone in need of a makeover? Leave a video response below letting us know who and why. And also, make sure to subscribe to Awesomeness TV for new episodes of Make Me Over every Friday. Bye, guys. Bye. When I first turned around and saw myself in the mirror, I felt awesome. I felt like a new person. I felt like me but more confident. The girls at school before were more, I felt they were more beautiful than me but now I feel like I look as beautiful as them. I think this makeover is going to change my life in big ways because people are going to look at me now and think that I'm not shy. They probably will be like, wow, like she looks really nice and want to come and talk to me and I won't be shy with them. Hey guys, so this week's question comes from AMGMSK and they asked what eyeliner makes your eyes pop and look bigger and wider and that is white eyeliner. If I ever want my eyes to look a lot brighter and bigger, I just put like white liner on my waterline and you can also put it in the inner corners of your eyes and it's like bam, pretty amazing. So that's a little tip for you guys. So thank you for your question and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!